Over the weekend, this clip filmed earlier in the month began making the rounds online, and it is infuriating. I won't play the audio for you because I love you, and no one deserves to hear Christian music against their will. But basically, this clip shows Christians singing worship music in the middle of a flight to people who look like they have to hear it against their will. Look at this guy. Just look at him. The Christians got on a plane, broke out their damn guitars, and started singing about Jesus up and down the aisles. I just have a couple of questions for the people who decided to do this. Why? Who thought this would be a good idea? Was the plane heading straight to hell, or were you all taking a detour? Why can't any of you read the room? Apparently you can all see a God-shaped hole in strangers' hearts, but you can't see the look of disgust on the face of a dude who's right in front of you. Again, just look at him. Did none of you see the reaction of that guy? Because that's the only guy I'm watching this whole time. Seriously, why? Why would you do this? Who are you helping? Do you understand that some people prefer silence on a plane to nap or to work? Or maybe to just get away from the annoying Christians who exist in all the other areas of their lives? I love planes because I can just sit there in silence and sleep and not even use my phone. It's glorious. That's why everyone gets annoyed when babies cry on planes. It gets in the way of the napping. But at least babies can't control themselves. Christian dudes with guitars absolutely can. Do you all realize that this music is not entertaining even when you're not in midair? Did it ever cross your mind that a bunch of these people would never even take free tickets to watch you play after they land? Work on your sales pitch. Do you think anyone else on the plane was wondering, where is the emergency door? Because I would have thought about it. What would your reactions have been if non-Christians tried anything like this? Would you seriously be cool with it if Muslims or Satanists or atheists began doing what you're doing? I know it's hard to imagine because other people are what we like to call considerate. But try. Be honest. What would your reactions have been if Muslims just announced on any flight, Hi, we're Muslims. All hell would have broken loose, and you know it! But apparently when Christians do it, the assumption is everyone will love it. Do you understand now why people say Christian persecution is a myth? Because nothing says I'm privileged more than singing about your favorite brand of mythology in the air because you just figured everyone would be totally cool with it. What does it say about the Christian message that you thought preaching to a captive audience was the best option to spread your message. Did you ask everyone for permission? Or did you just assume they all wanted to hear your glorious Jesus songs because you live in a bubble? By the way, side note, I've heard people say online that this might have been a chartered flight. Everyone on board was part of the group, therefore the singing wasn't that weird. That would certainly explain a lot, except Clearly, not everyone was on board. <laughs> Just look at him. And also, the group's own social media posts make it sound like they did this on a commercial flight. Because why else would this be interesting? It's not inspirational, even to Christians. If you sing Christian songs on a private jet paid for by a Christian group to an audience of all Christians. This act of fake defiance only works if you do this on a commercial airline. So either they exaggerated what they did to score points for Jesus, or everyone's assumptions about what they did are accurate. Who's your target audience here? Who was sitting on the plane thinking, God's not real, and then heard your music and thought, I was wrong. These people get it. No one. 
No one thought that. No one is the answer. How come this flight doesn't seem to have any turbulence? Where is the turbulence when you need it? Why didn't any of the other Christians on the plane do anything about this? It's one thing to just remain quiet because you're not Christian and you don't want to rock the boat, or in this case cause a scene on a plane. I get that. I really do. I'm not sure I would have said anything. But why didn't any Christians just say, shut up? All of you, sit down, shut up, and read your Bibles in silence. If we can't count on believers to help us out in this low stakes but still insane situation, how can we count on you for anything else? How is it that metaphorically hijacking an airplane for Jesus is okay, but a teacher with a rainbow flag in the classroom is too aggressive for you people? Why did preacher Jack Jens Jr., who posted this video last week, caption it with, Jesus is taking over this flight, plane emoji, fire emoji? He's proud of what they did. At least, I assume that because he shut off all comments. Which is weird, because I'm sure everyone wanted to tell him how they converted because of this clip. Actually, he recently edited that post to say, Worshipping our King Jesus 30,000 feet in the air. Which is the least fun version of the Mile High Club. And he didn't even get rid of the emoji. Seriously, why would you ever put a fire emoji next to a plane emoji? That's just scary. How much attention do you people need on a daily basis? Why does everything always have to be all about you and your faith? No one else wants to hear you. The music doesn't make it go down easier, by the way. It only makes everything worse. It's like adding sugar to a heaping pile of excrement. It's not helping. Side note, what if the in-flight movie was God's Not Dead? You'd have to jump out of the plane right then and there. Like, who knew snakes on a plane could be an upgrade? I heard this took place on a European airline, which is why people aren't wearing masks, but are there no rules about what passengers can do on these flights? Because the preachers involved said the flight attendants and pilot were on their side. Seriously, why did a pilot literally introduce this group over the microphone? Is everyone on board in on this? Because again, the bald guy doesn't seem to think so. And if anything goes, can people just start smoking on these planes too? Or is that not allowed because it would affect the quality of the flight for everyone else? What kind of discount will the airline offer all the passengers on a future trip? Because they better get something. I expect this kind of crap on Spirit Airlines, but that's it. Actually, this sort of thing might be appropriate on Spirit Airlines. And if the Christians who did this are so proud of themselves, why did some of the participants set their social media accounts to private? Own your arrogance. Don't run away. We have questions. Anyway, on behalf of atheists everywhere, I just want to thank all the Christians who participated in that sing-along. You make our jobs easier. I make all these videos trying to steer people away from organized religion, and you did it in like 20 seconds! Honestly, maybe this channel should just be me singing Christian worship music.